and welcome to another episode of Kentucky Brew Review. I'm Steel Reserve. I'm Special K, and tonight we're going to be doing Ice House, uh, regular Ice House. It's 5.5% alcohol by volume. Go ahead and pour it for Steel. I'll let you pour your own. Cool. Got a 24 ounce can. These run about a dollar. Dollar fifty. Dollar fifty. A dollar twenty nine. Yeah, if you get them on sale. It's, it's not much. We're drinking out of these uh, stemmed. Uh, chalice glasses that I got from the Goodwill for 80 cents a piece. Nice golden color. Yep. Right away the carbonation kind of just goes away. At least in mine. Mine's got a little bit. Uh, I got a pretty heavy head on there but it's going to go away really fast. Yeah. It's kind of soapy. Smell. Got that uh, real grainy, almost almost apple juice. Reminds yeah, me of apple juice a, a little bit. But it is a really nice day outside, so beer just sounds like any kind of beer sounds great right now. That's, so. that's also why we're shooting outside. It's nice out. Yeah, our garage is kind of hot where we normally shoot at, and this is we, so much know, better. We don't have any air in there. A lot better than I remember. Well, again, you got the grass today, so any beer after that is going to taste good. But no, it's not bad. Um, it's a little corny on the back end. Yeah, but it goes down smooth. It does. A um, little grainy. I uh, can't really get the alcohol. Just a very light hoppy presence. Yeah. And it's got a really good sweetness. It's definitely good for cutting grass or a summer day. I mean, it's not spectacular. It doesn't have anything spectacular in it. But it's, it's, it's light. Yeah. You know, it's light, crisp. Nothing funky there. Yeah, which is good. You know, it's nice. Yeah, mine's still pretty carbonated. I don't know why yours went down. I guess because you got the top pull, but... Yeah, maybe it was all in the pour, too. I didn't pour it all heavy-like. That's why you got a huge head. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Um, you know, I'm not huge on ice beers, but uh, they're starting to grow on me a little bit. Yeah. Um, I know that Pennsylvania-style ice was the cheapest one we've ever had. That was solid. Um, there's a few other ones. Keystone Ice is all right. Um, this one I had to give a, probably... A, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a five and a half, so slightly above average. Um, would I buy it? Absolutely. If it was on sale, if I was looking for something cheap, yeah, I'd buy it. No. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a six. You know, it is above the average. You know, it's a good. You know, I was just out in the yard doing some yard work. I'm gonna run up to the store, you know, gas station real quick. And you know, when you cut the grass, you're not wearing your best. You're just wearing some old jeans and whatnot. You grab the change that's on your dresser, grab your keys, drive up there. So what you can get, go for it. Yeah, it's solid. Um, I'd recommend it if you're into ice beers. It is a pretty solid ice beer. There are some really bad ones out there. I, as my, and I've tried to like Bud Ice so many times, I just I can't get into that one. That one's kind of rough, in my opinion. Oh, I can't remember the last time I had a Bud Ice. Uh, probably the last time I reviewed it. But uh, we'll uh, revisit that one eventually in the future. Probably. All right, well, that's our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on our channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Special K. I'm still reserved. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.